We've made our way from Branson to Willington, Texas. What's in Willington, Texas? Um, actually, even a lot of Texans don't know what's in Willington, Texas. They don't know where Wellington's at, <laughs> but Wellington's a small town uh, on the panhandle of Texas. And uh, our purpose for being here, though, is all about the RV Nomads movie. Uh, so we've come here to film. Um, today, we've actually got pictures. It's in front of a blue screen. Never done that, but apparently you can't wear blue, light blue, stripes, flannel, so that cuts out like half the shirts I own. So <laughs> this is probably what they're gonna get. Which you guys that watch us in the lot know that that's probably what they would've got anyways. Um, but I do have a couple of nicer shirts, but they're both flannel. So this is probably gonna be it. So Marissa's stressing about that. She stresses enough about pictures. So you add the blue screen into it and yeah. So we're getting ready for that. Sites here are a little bit weird. <laughs> uh, they do have 50 amp, they just upgraded all that, but you'll notice it's on the wrong side of the RV. We have a 30 foot electrical cord, so it reached okay. I don't like carrying extra of a lot of stuff, you just, you never know. Um, same thing with our hose. We just bought this Zero G hose, which so far I'm liking it, compacts down like crazy small. It's only 25 feet compared to our 30 feet we had before. We've still got this extra 25 foot one here. <sighs> just got hoses all over the place. <laughs> So I do really like that. Man, they're loud. But yeah, so I'm thinking I'll start carrying 225s instead of 130 because I never know. I'm thinking Alaska too. There might be times where it could come in handy in these national parks, state parks, forests to be able to, you know, have more length. Hey, look at you. You got to do blue jeans on the blue screen, see if they let you do it. I love these. Well, you're super cute, whether it works out or not. No. You ready to go? Let's go get some pictures. Is this sort of RV Nomads headquarters? It's where um, they've got the play side and then the work side. And so lounging areas, that's the lockers for everybody in the movie over here. There's our locker. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, the whole crew in the movie. Spread out everywhere. Strongback's one of the sponsors, you'll see Great chair, by the way. Tons of strong back chairs. Hensley, Beth, is that your hat? You gonna wear that for the picture? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? This is the filming slash photography side. Over here, setting up, um, there'll be a lot of interviews going on. They wanted a consistent environment for a lot of those. And so this is gonna be staged for that. It's not totally done yet. They've still got more work to do, but that's where all that's gonna be. And then there's the blue screen. Yes, because I can't do it all. I have, um, Never done anything with the blue screen. Heard you can do some pretty cool stuff though. Okay, okay. <laughs> so they leased this space for the movie. Um, still under construction, trying to get it uh, where they want it to be. This is, um, you know, it's an older town. Most of these buildings through here are owned by one person and they're pretty much empty. Uh, some of the spaces still have businesses, some of them don't. And then this space they're in now, was um, initially like this space. It's basically just used as storage by the guy that owns all these buildings. So they had to clear all that out and then they painted and put up the fabric and all that. <laughs> oh, check this out. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I love older towns with this kind of stuff. This is pretty cool. Yes, oh my goodness. It's an old video store. Aces Video Entertainment. <laughs> That is so cool. I think that's the courthouse in the middle of the square, like a lot of towns will do. Hensley, Hensley, picture time. I don't think you can wear that, sweetie. She said she wants to wear it. It's so funny. We got at least one with that on. I mean, she'll be very memorable. Very end. We'll let you put your hat on. We'll get you with the hat. Yes, if you do a good job with pictures, they'll let you do one with that on it. Good job. Pictures went pretty well. Uh, Hensley, you nailed it on your uh, your hat picture. 
so cool. She might be onto something. <laughs> We're all gonna be wearing those envelopes on our head soon, won't we, Hensley? Yeah, I don't know about me, but <laughs> look at this. Uh, it's like a brick road. Isn't that cool, Hensley? I wonder when this town, do you know when this town was established or anything? I can't Google it and give you all those cool facts because I left my phone at home, so. I'm all out of cool facts. It's Ace Hardware. <laughs> oh. We had one like like this, I think, growing up. Remember that? And like when it went bad? You had to hit the side? Yeah, you hit the side of it, but when it went bad, you just took your new TV and sat it on top of it. Right. So it was like dual purpose. I remember hitting the side of the TV to get it to work. We had some stuff like that too. You know, what are these, Hansley? Do you know what those are? Uh, it's called a VCR. What VCR is VCR. It? What VCR is it? <laughs> That used to be how you watched movies. That's Big cool. mirrors for twelve dollars. So this is a bank, very old bank. Bonnie and Clyde robbed this bank. Bonnie and Clyde had been on a two-year crime spree that left a trail of dead bodies in their wake. They were little more than a local curiosity until photos of the couple were discovered at a crime scene in 1933. Overnight, the country became transfixed by the scandalous images press accounts of improbable escapes and their illicit romance. Here's all the newspaper clippings of some Bonnie and Clyde stuff. So they came right through here. City State Bank. 1933 they were here, Marissa. So this is Bonnie's they were glove going, right here. That's her glove. Yeah. They, they were going to Oklahoma and they was oh, wow. going toward Shamrock. When they got to the bridge, there was a detour and they missed it and went right off into the river and the car caught on fire. But this is pretty cool. This is actually pretty random that this theater is up and going and Looks crazy clean and up to date. So what's super cool about this theater is this is where the premiere of the film that we're filming is going to take place in October. So they're hosting Nomad Fest, which is going to be this whole weekend where we can all camp together, um, eat together, have a concert, and then watch the RV Nomad film here in Wellington, Texas. Did you know you're going to be in a movie? Uh -huh. And this is where it's going to be. So yeah, this is the theater where it's all gonna happen. Balcony, awesome. We gotta clear out, I think they got a wedding or something going on. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> Marissa almost took a uh, travel nursing gig in Wellington, right? Yeah. it's. Really random. It, it's so crazy how everything. Because the population here, I think there's a sign, it's like 2100 or something like that. It's kind of crazy how <laughs> things go full circle sometimes. So when we decided to hit the road full time three years ago, I had signed up to do travel nursing, and my first assignment was going to be in Wellington, Texas. They just opened a new hospital, and they were understaffed and needed nurses. And so it's just they had told me it's just a small town. Um, and that's so crazy that it didn't work out with that assignment. Um, but the crazy thing is, I never would have thought three years later I'd be in Wellington, Texas <laughs> doing a movie about RVing. It's just kind of funny how life happens sometimes. And it still brought me back to Wellington, Texas, but in a different, a different way that I never saw possible. And I think that's what this life does. You don't we didn't at all plan on having a YouTube channel. We had other streams <laughs> of income that we were gonna pursue um, to be on the road. And a lot of people we know, they didn't change your RV or change your lifestyle. And I think it just, this lifestyle just kind of becomes more about connections and relationships. And when you don't have as much, I guess, tying you down, you've got more options for that. 
So you may have noticed today that um, we have shirts that <laughs> <laughs> that have a have our name on it, but it just takes two different shirts to do it. So yeah. less junk, more journey. <laughs> I'm about having less junk. I'm definitely about the more journey. Yeah. I will tolerate the less junk to get to the more journey. <laughs> so we had people asking us literally for years. I don't know how many people. It could be hundreds. Lots of people asking for shirts. Um, so we do have shirts. I'll have a link to those at the. I wanted one for me. Personally. We want, well, we, that's kind of where we got. We got to the point where like, look, you know, this is because this is the fabric I liked. It's uh, like next level, the super soft. Uh, what they call it, blended tri blend yeah. fabric type stuff. And so I thought, I'm I'm buying that anyways. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get our name on it. Um, go for it. Release it to people. So share our message because that's, message. that's what we're trying to do. Yep. So it's out there. If yeah. you want to share the message, um, you can get these shirts through our website. I'll have a link to that and so we're going to be offering 10 percent off for two weeks at the launch of the t-shirts if you want one or two or whatever you want if you want to pair it up like this if you're more <laughs> about less junk you can grab that if you're more about the journey you can grab that some days i'm about less junk and some days i'm She's about gotta be in the more mood. journey yeah so. yeah <laughs> gotta be in the mood well, i think it's cool with our mindset of less junk and more journey where it's taken us and um it's brought us around circle to wellington texas That's super cool so it is excited to be here uh, we're going to be here filming for this for a couple days and then north and then north and north and north <laughs> just and keep more, on going more north. <laughs> for we uh, might about even three end days up in, like the north pole it's possible <laughs> so yeah i'm looking on google i'm like okay it's no longer in hours it's in days for how long it says it's going to take us to get there but uh we will get to alaska i'm sure a lot of people mm -hmm. everybody we talk to here in texas is like you're going to alaska why are you still here? Um, like, well, oh yeah, we've got a film for this so movie. We're here for this. But once <laughs> this is done, we are heading north. We're excited about that and to share it with you guys. More we're, and more and more journey. That's more right. and more and more journey for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but but while we're here, the focus is the movie. It's the people, and we love the people. We love the people behind this movie, and that's why we said yes to it. We hope this movie just shares the message of why we live this lifestyle and i think it's really cool that you've got all these different dynamics together that you can make a movie and share the journey and that is super exciting that we're a part of that thank you so much you guys for the time and energy you put into our channel we don't say that enough we just yes, really appreciate you. you watching being part of this uh, and we definitely want you to share your journey through comments and through patreon and facebook and instagram just anywhere and everywhere you can because um, I know we've got a lot of people are journeying a lot during the summer. We are going to uh, start getting ready for the gathering tonight and we will catch you guys later. <laughs>